Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. Today I will show you how to mix different techniques in SOLIDWORKS to achieve fast and easy complex shapes. We will make a flower for less than 15 minutes with the help of surface, 3D texture and standard features. Stay tuned to see how we do this flower. We start with a sketch on the top plane where we will define the sizes of our flower then we go to the right plane and add a sketch convert the inner circle make it a construction line and now we will add the center form for revolve Next step, on the right sketch we will add two different contours or three for our leaves. and make a revolved surface I will choose them one by one so I can have three different leaves and not one I make it mid plane 30 degrees revolve Now 
we go to the top plane to define the other contour of our leaves. Once we are happy with the shape, we make a surface trim. For all three faces. Okay, now we have the leaves, but they are too flat. Next step will be insert feature freeform, we pick the first one, add direction to symmetry, add some curves and points and then start modifying the shape. Once you're happy with the result, you can hit OK. As you can see, this one is with the gentle curve. I will hide it, then change the, the other one. This is with more intense shape, I will hide it. Now change the, the last one. This also turned out with a nice shape. We show our three leaves and tick an if each of them. Without merging them together. Now we have to move the, them a little bit around move bodies, choose the top one, we choose to rotate and we choose an axis of rotation. Then 
and we choose the bottom one and again rotate Once we have moved our leaves, okay, this free form, the first one, is not intense enough. I will change it. Now it looks better. Now we have to add more leaves with circular pattern. To make a more random effect, I will move again some of the bodies. Wait, rotate. And this is how our flower is looking for now. I can hide this sketch. Now we have to add a new sketch, which is just the top of our internal shape. And now from the main sketch for the internal shape, we make a revolve. And we can hide this. And from this new sketch, we make again a revolve without merging. And to this revolve, we will add a 3D texture. And go to change the appearance on the first color image. On the image file path, I will change it with another one. Then I go to mapping and make it projection on ZX, I will have to do next is to reduce the size a little. And once I'm ready, I hit OK. Then we go to Insert Features, 3D Texture, and now we will convert our 3D texture into a 3D. On texture refinement, 75% should be enough. On the offset, I will go to 0 0.7 and on the maximum element size, I will go to 0 0.5. And now our texture is converted to a 3D. If you want it to be printable, you have to go in features once again and to convert it to a mesh body. Once we have it as a mesh body, we can add some appearances. And our flower is ready. So, our flower is ready. Do you have some ideas how to mix different techniques to achieve a faster result? Share your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Don't forget to give a like if you enjoy it and subscribe for the channel if you want to be always up to date with the newest content. See you next time! Bye.